for the app. Uh, okay. Well, my name is Jerry Kunch. I'm going to give a presentation on Leafspeak, its origin, etiquette, and functionality. First, you might ask, what is this Leafspeak Kunch speaks of? Well, uh, Leaf is a first form of the second syllable of Elias. And it's characterized by replacement of the standard Arabic uh, English uh, symbol set for the English language. It's traditionally used on the internet and by internet goers, uh, prevalent in the gaming arena and sometimes hacker uh, The origin of Leaf Speak dates back to the actual creation of the internet when the internet can be searched to be a keyword and the FBI began to crack down on hacking uh, communities. So they began to replace their hacking lingo uh, by replacing most of the vowels, which would be a lot of the letters, with obvious numerical correlations. I give the example of three replacing the letter E, uh, and uh, five replacing the letter S, and one replacing the letter I. Uh, for further clarification, leaf speak is not to be confused with name speak, where mnemonics or shortened words are used. For example, U for the letter uh, for the word U, or PLZ for please, or LOL for laugh out loud. So if Cutie Fairy is asking how are you, that would be name speak. But if somebody uses D for P for one, bird line, backslash bird line, uh, for the paint, that would be leaf speak. In this Megatopia comic, which dates back to September of 2000, very early on in the stage of the internet, uh, had, yeah, had a lot to do with uh, widespread awareness of the and promoted the uh, indefinitely. Here's a little leak conversion table I make this to show the functionality and the options which lead gives you. As I will prove later, uh, lead is ultimately about style and personality, and you can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, lead is hardcore. Uh, let's analyze a, some lead by going from English to full room lead. I give you the English sentence, what are you doing? And now in this first level of leaf speak, uh, my changes are made in the 4s, uh, the A's are replaced by 4s, and the uh, E's are replaced by 3s. Now we ramp it up, and we start to see symbols coming into the name, and the T's are replaced by 7s. And finally, nothing resembling English is in this form of what are you doing. I point the vertical line to terms that are, and as you can see, uh, this has a lot to do with creativity and the solidified terms which Leap now uses. Uh, I wanted to test the prevalency of Leap uh, within the readers community versus the hard merchant community. I use most of the people on my buddy list uh, for the readers community, and I use red versus blue.com for the hard merchant community, and I sent them this test uh, using five different levels of Leap and asked them the question, what level can you comprehend to? And these are my results. The first five columns represent uh, the people who answered, I can comprehend this level of lead uh, to my question. Obviously, everyone in English, so column one is empty. And this is the average. Notice the increasing leadness of the legends. Uh, most people did okay in the hardcore internet community. Most, uh, it, was, it was generally higher. And the average was uh, a little above four, as opposed to the reached average, which was closer to four than three. But as a comparison, I point to you that the prevalency of leap must be widespread, as when I compare the two averages, uh, it's less than 0.5 of the difference, showing how leap has spread and grown, and most people know leap to some extent. Ultimately, leap is a little bit creativity, and it's a very flexible language, which can be personified and stylized to however you feel necessary. Let's look at some solidified leap forms. This means you in leap speaking. Uh, who is a uh, derivation of hoots and is a general exclamation. Uh, like, who? I totally pwned that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, noobs or something, it's short for newbie. Uh, and they're the punching bags of the internet community. <laughs> Usually new to something or not good at it. Like, if someone talks, like, they need hooked on phonics and things are Hacksaw is an ultimately immature term, it means hacker, and it's used by people who are definitely not hackers. Uh, Sucksaw means to suck, <laughs> and it's another example of OR suffix, and Pomsor brings me to everybody's favorite lead colloquialism, which is Pom. Uh, legend has it that a Warcraft map designer misspelled Pom by pressing the P instead of the O, and so instead of saying, uh, when you lost, you, uh, like, so-and-so has been owned, they would say so-and-so has been honed. This is very cool. <laughs> so, so here are some examples of your poems in 
Sí, descarga. <risa> 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 